Hello there. Welcome and thank you so much for being here. We're going to do a collective timeless reading. So whenever this reading finds its way to you, it's the right time. But keep in mind, it's a general reading. So see what signs, symbols, messages, energies resonate for you in your particular situation. And hopefully help to bring you clarity on whatever you're wondering, concerned, confused about. It could broaden your perspective and show you something with fresh eyes. But in the end, always trust yourself, that divine inner guidance. It's inside of you. And try to make balanced decisions between logic and intuition so that your decisions are sound, based in love, for the highest, greatest good of everyone. So we're all uplifted in love. We're going to do a mini reading today for those of you that want to take a little dive and get a taste of the energy going on but maybe don't have that much time because i actually don't have that much time right now i have to leave pretty soon but i am feeling inspired to do a little reading so let's begin let's see what god serves holy spirit christ consciousness our higher selves angels and energies of love have for the highest and the greatest good of all what does the collective need to know to be helpful please and thank you I'm just going to actually pull, even though it's a mini reading, a couple cards and get just a little picture of the flow of energy right now. What does the collective need to know? Flow of energy, please and thank you. Oh, we have the two of swords, so you or someone else really trying to make a decision, maybe sitting on the fence trying to even out the head and the heart in a situation, see something clearly that is not quite clear because you got that blindfold on. So you do have to trust your heart, but eventually you have to use those swords of truth and clarity. And once you've received, you know, the right inspiration, um, but I'm getting the balance mostly between your head and your heart, even though it's a swords card. You're all in your head and you're forgetting your heart. Your decision will be unbalanced. But you're also pretty grounded on something. What is this decision about? Two of swords. Oh, how to... Maybe there's your heart. <laughs> so that's involving love. It's a start to a new partnership, a beginning to doing something that really fulfills your heart. Also, this card has that huge pentacle with wings, so it's a golden opportunity. I feel like it's not just an elusive relationship kind of situation. It's something that is golden and can be grounded and planted to create a huge garden, even though it's a cups. But upside down, it could be stalling on how to end something that was not filling up your cup or stalling on how to begin something if there's a little nerves in that situation. Um, it's very new if it's a ace, but you have to put energy into this cupeth runneth, runneth over in your heart. I just thought of, um, I just thought of, uh, fever, that song. So energy has to be placed. Otherwise an opportunity will possibly dry up. on the Ace of Cups. Oh, well, it's not just an opportunity to love. It's an opportunity to totally mend your heart. <sighs> Bring you on the path to your destiny. S become a star. You could be a star in someone else's eyes. Ultimate hope and healing. This could restore your hope in love. I would say that's maybe don't sit on the fence so long and if you're comparing anything to everything you've gone through in the past or someone else's that's all a lesson that you got to learn to know how to redirect everything you do for the future if it was a lesson on something you didn't like you don't do it again if it's a lesson on what worked that's what you bring through the star is beautiful major arcana number 17 also a balance between there's a balance between earth and water, as above, so below, as within, so without. I keep hearing dreams, but I, I think that's a, um, I want to say that's Fleetwood Mac. 
One more, please. Oh, wow. Yeah. Whatever you're doing, whatever you're thinking about brand new start, whether this is a relationship being offered to you, you are offering that starting to do something within yourself and fill that cup up with love in your own heart have projects you're really into, a job you're really into, just something. It doesn't have to be huge. Maybe one thing a week you're super into when you start that. It's just going to really bring you on a new path altogether. Maybe it starts as something you do once a week, becomes something you do for evs. And here, you're not just taking that cup of love. It's contemplating a leap of faith. This is usually the leap of faith that is worth it because it brings you to not just your destiny and shining like a star, but it brings you a brand new chapter in your life. You have to do consider things with this and don't be a complete fool if you recognize that something isn't exactly right or that's not the right environment or energy or territory for you, then you trust that. But here you have to be completely open to what you don't know. You have to be flexible and open-minded in a new partnership, in new territory, in new creativity, in how you feel that's new, how you've adjusted and changed. I just look at the bottom. You have the Six of Swords. It looks like you're on your way to smoother waters. This is cute. It's a good reading. Taking a leap of faith is definitely going to be a worthy leap. Even if it's a little bit of a risky situation, you have to trust yourself. Maybe trust in someone else too, that you will make the correct decisions. And if you don't, you readjust, you mess up, you learn, and you do something a different way. But this is such a beautiful, wide-eyed, childlike sense of discovery on what you don't know, you don't know, you don't know. So why not step into that arena and See what you can learn. See what you can do. See how you can grow. See where you end up. See how your chapter unfolds when you're in it. And not just sitting there thinking about it. At the bottom, it looks like you're taking all of those lessons. Things you've learned that you thought about. What worked, what didn't work. Possibly lessons of your heart and your past. What you want and don't want for the future. Even the pentacles, opportunities to ground what you're thinking about, what you're dreaming about and hoping for into reality to make it real. You're taking with you what you need. You're leaving on the shore what you don't. You're not just sailing away here. You're actually in momentum and creating a little fiery engine on where you're moving. Here it's not using your tools correctly to navigate the storms or your brand new territory. Even if it's new territory, you have the right tools here. You have the right skills and know-how and clarity of mind to navigate around the storm, to prepare for it before it becomes, or to ignore it altogether. Because when this comes, you do stuff a different way. You don't do it like the old you. Um, I do feel like it's almost like letting go of who you were to become who you're supposed to be. So let's do one tarot card from the Art of Life. Just kind of some. The Two of Swords, the Ace of Cups, the Star, the Fool, or that's called the the, the Psychonaut. Pretty interesting version of that. She's literally dancing on energy. Look at the energy. Like creating these sparks of inspiration every step you take. What's that song? Every little step you take, be together. Da, 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 da. I don't even, I don't, I don't have a clue who that is. <laughs> but that kind of jumped through. Now I see, I heard, I heard jump through hoops. Maybe you have to jump through some hoops to have this dream come through or you've had to. Maybe you don't have to in this new chapter. It looks like if there's any hoops in that water, you're just going to go through them. I don't know where I see like actually big like portals on that journey. One summary, please. Oh, yeah. 
what did I, I said something about letting go of who you were to become who you're supposed to be. Oh, I didn't, I didn't think I would look at the bottom. But you got, wow, guys, beautiful. Even if this is a short reading, you have death and the sun. So no matter, you've got the sun and the stars. So I feel like that's in the, the sun and the stars above. Uh, I feel like that's another song. Um, yeah, it's like one of those weird, like, 1990 bands. I'll find it. <laughs> the sun is illuminating everything. The sun is going to bring you the clarity to both make a decision, get off the fence, follow your heart, heal any situation, heal yourself, restore your hope, shine like a star and the sun. And I hear protect you on your new journey. You're going to have this clarity in your mind, in your soul, in your energy, in your heart. This is complete, like direct communication with God, inspiration, opportunities that glow like the sun that you can't miss that are meant for you. You are destined to have. And this is being grateful for every single moment. Good and bad, good, bad, ugly, weird, all the lessons, everything. This is being grateful for every breath you take. It's, I don't know, I like, it's like, I can see you like walking out on the lawn or walking on something with like your bare feet or like walking bare feet in, on the, like the, on the, on the beach or something like that. I always see somebody actually doing yoga in the morning in their house. Clear, you know, just for having a comfy bed, for having great friends, for being here now. This is living. This is thriving. This is recognizing you're here today. So what are you going to do? Because time is a gift. We're not guaranteed how much time we have. So this is starting this journey today. This is starting to make these dreams come true. This is allowing love in and giving love out. If there is somebody in your life, for any reason, you're sitting on the fence trying to decide if you want to tell them you love them and you do, tell them. Tell them how meaningful they are to you. What, what are you waiting for? You, When you're expressing love, it's not to get it back. It's not so someone else says it and you feel better. When it's unconditional, true, eternal love and it's a soul-to-soul -soul feeling, it doesn't matter who it is. A friend, a neighbor, a lover, your children, your boss, whoever it is. Be like, I love you so much. Thank you. You are such a blessing in my life and I appreciate you. Say it. Because if you get to this that be something you regret even if people can feel it sometimes people need to hear it whatever form of love it is there's love comes in many forms don't be afraid to say i love you i'm getting that really big so death i always hear a whisper it says it's getting to feel reborn not being like the old way you did something not crawling in your old skin anymore you're not going to crawl back in the cocoon once you have spiritual wings. Fly. Live. What makes you feel free and young, vibrant and alive? What does this even say? <laughs> it's a short reading. I'm getting all intense. All right. Death twitches in my ear. Yeah. That's why I think this card, I forgot about that. This card, out of all the tarot decks that I have, is the one that is implanted in me when I see the death card in any other deck. Because it's, it's, it just was powerful to me. It's not about the death. It's not about the loss. It's not about the change. It's not really even about the transformation. It's about the redirection to the light. Death twitches in my ear. Live. He says, I am coming. The only thing we're guaranteed is to be here right now and that one day we're not. Except I don't see it as death. I see it as an angel telling you that. Like, live, thrive. What you waiting for? You sit on the fence forever thinking about how you want to live or you're going to do it. And this is Virgil. Death and life. And then you have this, this beautiful sun that's coming in, beaming a be big, beautiful burst of opportunity in life. It's how everything thrives and grows. It's the I am masculine energy to tell you to put energy into something precisely the least, the softest, the lightest, a lizard's rustling, a breath, a flash, a moment, a little makes
makes the way of the best happiness. Friedrich Nietzsche. It's those little moments, every little beautiful burst of moments, even when they're the weird ones, even when the sun is upside down, the sun's still there. You're not going to miss it. It's just a cloudy day. But those are the moments you remember. So start today to have more of these. Just be grateful for what you have. Be grateful for what you can still do, what you can still become. And this is being totally transformed, total release, upside down. You're resisting a change that has to happen. You're resisting the path that you're destined to be on that's going to create so much growth and beautiful abundance, opportunity, and adventure in your life. What you're resisting for, and you could be somebody else too, whenever there's... Um, Collective readings, it could be somebody that you are connecting to. And this could be a huge lesson that's coming through. No mas resistance. I'm not sure why I just went into Spanish. So um, let's get one to summarize. I hope this reading was helpful and it was a little short for me. <laughs> Usually my readings are pretty long. I don't know. I, I, I do intend to have them go short and I just get into the flow and feel the messages coming through and I feel like they have to come until they're meant to stop. So but let's get one more to clarify. The sun, death, ace of cups, the fool, the star. It's a lot of cards, the two of swords and the six of swords for you guys. Please and thank you. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Thank you so much for being here. I feel so blessed to be here connecting to all of you you're all such amazing beautiful special souls thank you so let's get one more uh, that was a beep to confirm oh i like this one it's the horses that are running it reminds me of acetique and it's force it makes me think of doing not not forcing something it's not that kind not that kind of force on the horse <laughs> I just heard a horse is a horse, of course, of course. And no one can know a horse, of course, is, of course. Wow, I just heard Mr. Ed. Um, so 24 is a six that brings you back to love. It's not that kind of force. I'm going to say that again, because when you push something and force something, you don't have any room for expansion and change and flexibility. So this is, look at these horses. If you connect two horses, see how powerful they are all together. I feel like you can hear them on that beach. Force lives in your will. That's the sun. And it comes from your intent. Life is a process of pulling back your bow, aiming your arrow, choosing a target, and shooting. Sometimes we hit, sometimes we miss. The degree and quality of the force with which you choose your target and shoot determine your power and your success. So when you are following the truth of your soul, integrity of your heart, clarity of your mind, true intention to thrive, strength to release, it changes what you want to aim towards as your goal. And it changes the beautiful intention behind what you receive as an outcome. Force is built through your integrity of purpose. Your physical tuning it would be this. You have to tune that physical energy here that's up in the ether and ground it. It has to pass through your heart space and be flowing like this vibrant different colors of energy here and the balance of your spirit and your mind by naming your active power you create force follow your innermost passions in life live empower your will and your strength of force by manifesting your secret dreams you know, you're holding something back here. You're on the fence on something you're keeping secret and it's a true dream. 
really, you can feel it would overflow your heart. Like it's been guiding you so long and you're just ignoring that inner guidance system. It is time to start manifesting your dreams come true. It looks like you have everything here. God, the universe, angels, energies, and you'll find people on your side to support you because we support each other. But first it starts with you. Trusting your dreams. If you can dream it, you can do it. I hope this reading is helpful for you. I love you so much and I'll see you soon. Bye.